every second I know you feel the beat Do you feel the rhythm all the way? Mm. Can you see the vision? Hey guys, it's simply Julia Lauren and I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Okay, so in November, I decided to purchase an Ancestry DNA kit. I've always had this fascination of my ancestry and where I came from. And I remember just being so nervous as to try to find out where I come from because of obviously the fact that I'm a female. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I decided to take the plunge after my sister's friends decided to try to do some fam like some digging herself and she found family members we never even heard of and it just kind of it it brought a lot of us as family together and it just sparked this thought in me of where did we all come from though so i ordered an ancestry dna kit during the holiday season because it usually goes for half price at that point and i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and i finally got my results so here they are. Let's see what I is. I'm so nervous. My ethnicity estimate. Your results include your ethnicity, break down your DNA story, and your DNA matches. Okay. What? Really? <laughs> really? Your ethnicity estimate may include two sorts of results. Results with a really large dot, I guess, indicates origins, indicate distant origins 500 to 1,000 years ago. And results with a dot with some dots around the dot indicate more recent origins about 50 to 300 years ago. So additional communities, which are the ones that indicate 50 to 300 years ago, is early North Carolina African Americans and Mississippi and Louisiana African Americans. Okay. And then with the big dot, which is about 500 to 1,000 years ago, 28% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, and 20% Nigeria. Let's go to the top five. So Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, that's all in one category at 28%. Nigeria as 20%. Benin, or is that benign? How do you pronounce that? I'm not sure. And Togo at 19%. Mali at 17%. And then England and Northwestern Europe at 7%. Skilled communities, so early North Carolina African Americans, which is 1750 to 1775. As many as 90% of enslaved people in North Carolina worked in fields, mostly in the colony's booming tobacco industry, while others performed domestic work or skilled trades as butchers or carpenters. In coastal areas, enslaved workers' nautical skills contributed vastly to the city's economic success. Free African Americans also Okay, free African Americans also lived primarily in port towns, where job communities were more plentiful. Escaped slaves and their descendants in the Great Dismal Swamp had carved out a communal society. They cleared land on higher ground for farms and log cabins and survived by hunting, fishing, farming, and occasionally raiding nearby plantations. Wow. You share the early North Carolina African Americans community with 37 of your DNA matches. Matches are other people who have taken an ancestry DNA test who might be related to you. So wait, so you and 37 of your DNA matches, along with 426,010 other ancestry DNA members are all genetically linked to this region through shared ancestors. Ready to explore your results? Yeah, view my story, let's go. Wow. So I'm basically West African. Wow. 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 It's weird because I'm seeing this colored map and it's weird because all of these things are in my blood or saliva. So let's go ahead and click on the one where I'm most compatible with as far as early, early on ancestry. So Cameron, Congo, and Western Bantu people. I want to know more. Primarily located in Angolia, Cameroon, Central African Republic, 
Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Namibia, Republic of the Congo, Sao Tome, and Principe Zambia? Okay, I'm pretty sure I pronounced like over half of those incorrectly. So my ethnicity estimate is 28%, but it can range from three to 31%. So obviously now I have to go to Nigeria. So it's funny that Nigeria comes up as number two because Wendy the Rumi actually had this idea that I was definitely 100% Nigerian. Um, sometimes I put on a Nigerian accent and I pretend to be her mom and <laughs> She she had this idea that it was gonna come, that I was gonna come up as Nigerian, so she's gonna burst into laughter when she sees this. So my ethnicity estimate for Nigeria is 20%, but can range anywhere from two to 36%. Nigeria is just okay. So Nigeria is just above Cameroon and just west of Central African Republic. Wow. Whether or not it matters, it's just nice to know. The other ones that I didn't include in that top five were Scotland, Sweden, Ireland, Norway, 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 what? and Southern Bantu peoples. Oh, okay, so I'm understanding the Southern Bantu peoples and Bantu peoples and the Western Bantu peoples. This is crazy. Pet is family tree for people, link your tree. So I wanna see my DNA matches. Let's see, let's see who I can find in here. Guided tour. Yeah, let's start the tour, let's go. Wow. So I see a first or second cousin with 11% shared DNA. Another first or second cousin, first and second cousin. Yeah, I actually met this cousin. Wow. Why does this person look familiar? Second or third cousin. This woman literally looks like a subscriber that I have. It's crazy because I'm also seeing a lot. There's so many that don't have my name. And there are also a lot of, um, what are they called? Usernames instead of actual names. Oh, I can see your tree. Unlinked tree, linked tree, 17 people. It's weird because I I feel like crying because it's amazing to see, but I'm so shocked that I can't cry. <gasps> ah, okay. So yeah, I, yeah. Okay, so I found one of my cousins who we actually found when my sister tried to have her friend do a family tree. And so yeah, I can see my mom's name right here. And I see, oh my. But this was a, this is a very distant cousin that we didn't know we had. Wow. Ancestor birth locations. Oh, I guess we can't do that. I want to know more. I must know more. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go talk to my parents. And I'm gonna, um, I'm definitely going to be looking through this a lot and searching a lot because there's so much more that I want to know and I want to discover. But I at least wanted to let you guys know um, what I got, like what I, what I am. So apparently I'm Cameroon at least like 28%, Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. That's crazy. And I've heard that it'll update um, every so often as well. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, Ancestry. Thank you guys so much. This is so great. Wow, this is, yeah, this is amazing. Okay, um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here and I'm gonna discover some more through this. If I find anything that's huge, I'll let you guys know. Uh, yeah, if you guys wanna try out Ancestry for yourselves. So what I did was the DNA kit. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do all of the names and try to search and dig that way. I thought it'd be easier just to kind of like spit in a tube and send it off somewhere. Um, but if you guys wanted to do that as well, I'll put a link in the description box down below. If you guys wanted to wait until it's a little bit cheaper, I would say to wait until, um, what is it called, Black Friday or like Cyber Monday, and then it's usually half off. Um, but you'll see it in the link below and I will see you guys in the next one.